Imagine those remarkable individuals who can perform extraordinary feats, like the ones you see in martial arts movies. Among them, one name stands out, Jean-Claude Van Damme. His movies and martial arts skills have captivated audiences worldwide. However, behind every towering figure lies the potential for an even greater legacy. Bianca Brie Van Damme, the daughter of the legend, is carving her path in the world of entertainment. So the question arises, is Van Damme's daughter equally skilled, or is she better than her father? Join us as we explore this captivating blend of heritage and uniqueness. The Remarkable Legacy of Van Damme Van Damme's impact goes beyond his impressive kicks and famous splits. His career has motivated many people to take up martial arts and find strength when facing tough times. Jean-Claude Van Damme came into this world on a crisp autumn day, October 18, 1960, in the quaint town of Berchem saint agathe near the bustling city of Brussels in Belgium. He was born to Eliana and Eugene Van Warenberg, an accountant and a florist, respectively. Eugene hailed from Brussels, a city where French and Dutch blend, while Eliana, his mother, was Flemish and spoke Dutch. Their household was complete with a daughter, Veronique. It's in this beautiful setting and owing to Jean's roots and remarkable physical prowess that he earned the nickname the Muscles from Brussels. Raised in the Catholic faith, his father instilled in him a belief that divinity crosses religious boundaries. Eugene observed that Van Damme was weak and lacked belief in himself from a young age. To boost his confidence and strength, he decided to register him in a martial arts academy. Reflecting on his transformation, Van Damme recounted a crucial moment at age 11 when he gazed upon his reflection, a skinny figure yearning for strength similar to the superheroes in his beloved comics. This sparked his zeal in training, even daring to leap from rooftop to rooftop in pursuit of physical prowess. Under the guidance of Master Claude Goetz at the Centre National de Karate in Ixelles, Belgium, Young Jean-Claude honed his skills. By age 15, he clinched victory at the European Professional Karate Association Middleweight Championship, signaling the emergence of a great talent. Alongside martial arts, he delved into bodybuilding and ballet, recognizing the latter's demand for strength and grace. Although tempted by a career in ballet, Jean-Claude remained steadfast in his ambition to become an actor and martial artist. At 18, he earned his black belt in karate and was crowned Mr. Belgium at a prestigious bodybuilding competition. Karate, in Jean-Claude's words, was transformative, molding him into a confident and resilient individual with dreams of silver screen stardom. This blend of disciplines, karate and ballet, would later define his signature style in Hollywood, setting him apart as a versatile action star capable of executing flawless splits both on the ground and in midair. For the next six years, Jean-Claude engaged in both full-contact and semi-contact matches, showcasing his martial prowess. He entered the arena under the name Jean-Claude Van Werenberg, stepping into his first bout against Toon Van Oostrom in Brussels. Despite being knocked down by a powerful spin kick from his opponent, Jean-Claude swiftly rose to his feet, ultimately flooring Van Oostrom with a decisive blow. In 1977, at the Waco Open International in Antwerp, Jean-Claude had a match against his friend Patrick Teugels. It was a semi-contact fight, and although Jean-Claude fought well, the judges decided in favor of Patrick. The following year, at the Challenge des Espoirs Karate Tournament, he demonstrated his skill by securing second place in the semi-contact division, overcoming numerous opponents throughout the competition. In the vibrant 1980s, Jean-Claude, accompanied by his close friend Michel Kisi, embarked on a daring journey from Belgium to the United States, armed with only $3,000 and boundless ambition to pursue their Hollywood dreams. Despite their limited English proficiency, they were fueled by a fervent determination to make it big in the land of opportunity. Reflecting on his early days in America, Jean-Claude reminisced during an interview with martial arts professional expressing unwavering confidence inspired by his karate background. He faced setbacks along the way, enduring hardships that forced him to resort to living in his car. Yet, amidst adversity, 
His steadfast focus on his cinematic aspirations remained unshaken. His faith and perseverance bore fruit when he and his friend Michelle landed roles as extras in the 1984 hip-hop dance film Breakin', marking their modest entry into the world of cinema. Jean-Claude's involvement in the 1984 action film Missing in Action provided him with valuable industry experience, despite the initial absence of widespread success. Jean-Claude secured a significant breakthrough with his role as the formidable Russian villain Ivan in the 1986 martial arts film No Retreat, No Surrender. This milestone propelled him into the spotlight, setting the stage for his rise to fame. His performance in Bloodsport, 1988, further propelled him into the limelight as a top-tier action hero. This movie, supposedly based on martial artist Frank Dux's life, showcased Van Damme's incredible athleticism, notably his iconic split move, which instantly captivated audiences and garnered him a devoted following. Following the success of Bloodsport, Van Damme continued to solidify his status as a martial arts icon through a string of hit films like Kickboxer, Lionheart, Double Impact, and Universal Soldier. What set Van Damme apart was not just his physical prowess, but also the depth he brought to his characters. Whether grappling with personal demons or moral quandaries, his roles were layered with complexity, making his movies both action-packed and emotionally resonant. Beyond the silver screen, Van Damme's impact transcended mere filmography. He played a significant role in popularizing martial arts in Western culture, inspiring countless individuals to embark on their own martial arts journeys. His films symbolized the action movies of the 80s and 90s, bringing back memories for many people. Moreover, Van Damme's career illustrated resilience. Despite facing professional setbacks and personal struggles, including battles with substance abuse and mental health issues, he remained steadfast in his commitment to his craft. Through it all, he continued to take on roles that challenged conventions and showcased his enduring legacy as an action superstar. In 1987, Van Damme tied the knot with Gladys Portugues. Then, on October 17, 1990, they welcomed their daughter Bianca into the world. The making of Bianca Brie Van Damme. Born into a family deeply immersed in martial arts and physical fitness, Bianca Brie Van Damme's upbringing promised a fascinating journey. Her parents, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Gladys Portuguese, both embodying the spirit of martial arts and athleticism, laid the groundwork for Bianca's early life. Introduced to martial arts from a tender age, Bianca inherited her father's commitment and discipline. Starting with karate, she not only learned combat skills, but also imbibed its core values of discipline, respect, and perseverance, shaping her outlook on life. Yet, Bianca's training extended beyond karate. Guided by her parents, she delved into kickboxing, refining her fighting abilities and agility. Her mother, with expertise in bodybuilding and fitness, added layers to her physical education, ensuring a holistic development. Bianca's discipline was diverse and demanding. Alongside martial arts, she explored ballet and ice skating, seemingly contrasting disciplines that complemented her training. Ballet enhanced her balance and posture, similar to the precision of karate, while ice skating sharpened her agility and spatial awareness. Through this adaptable approach, Bianca imbibed a crucial lesson from her parents. True excellence requires a comprehensive development involving physical skills, discipline, and artistic expression. Martial arts skills aren't just about fighting. They teach valuable life lessons. From her parents, Bianca learned the importance of mental strength, focus, and resilience. Their own life experiences, including Jean-Claude's public struggles with drug and alcohol addiction and recovery, served as powerful examples of perseverance and inner strength, from Olympic dreams to silver screen. After watching the Olympics several times on TV, Bianca realized that competing in the Olympics was her dream. Although she didn't like how competitive figure skating was, Bianca's passion for ice sports motivated her to keep going even during times when she wanted to give up. Luckily, she discovered short track speed skating, and that became her new goal, to compete in the 2010 Winter Olympics. In 2002, Bianca trained tirelessly, participating in numerous competitions and winning all but two of them. 
She received many awards, including the prestigious Most Improved Accolade. Her determination was unwavering until her parents announced they were moving to Vancouver, Canada. This news plunged Bianca into depression, and during her final race, where she came in first, she suffered a back injury. Despite the injury, Bianca continued to skate with the Canadian Olympic team until the pain became unbearable. Eventually, she had to make the difficult decision to step away from the sport, something she never imagined she would have to do. Bianca graduated from high school when she was just 16 years old. She then decided to pursue acting and enrolled at John Casablancas Institute in Vancouver. Although she received a scholarship, she chose to assist her father on film sets and business trips around the world. Bianca understood the importance of learning about the film industry and was determined to educate herself. In 2007, Bianca made her first film appearance in The Shepherd as Cassie Robideau. In 2010, she starred in The Eagle Path as Bianca Banks, a movie written, directed, produced, and starred by her father, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Additionally, she portrayed the character Anna Flint in Assassination Games, 2011. After returning to California, Bianca resumed her speed skating training. However, a British TV network called ITV approached Bianca's family about creating a documentary reality show titled Jean-Claude Van Damme, Behind Closed Doors. Following the release of the TV show, Bianca received an email from director Dominic Burns, who offered her the lead role of Carrie in his film Alien Uprising in 2012. This was Bianca's first genuine acting offer, so she seized the opportunity and traveled to the UK to begin filming. She was thrilled to be able to perform her own stunts and developed a strong relationship with director and screenwriter Dominic Burns, leading to further collaboration on his upcoming projects, Breaking Out of the Shadow. The comparison between Bianca and Jean-Claude's careers is really interesting. Back in the 1980s and 1990s, Jean-Claude became super famous because of his martial arts movies. Films like Bloodsport and Kickboxer made him a big action star. Bianca, on the other hand, has a different approach to her acting career. Even though she's got a background in martial arts, she's aiming for something broader. She wants people to see her as a talented actress, not just someone who can do cool action scenes. Bianca wants to find a balance between doing physical stuff and playing more dramatic roles. Her early acting gigs were carefully selected to show off her skills as an actress, rather than just relying on her background in martial arts. However, it is worth noting that Bianca's martial arts prowess gave her an edge, especially when it came to roles that demanded action and agility. Bianca's standout performances occurred in the movie Six Bullets in 2012, where she not only displayed her martial arts skills, but also revealed her ability to adapt as an actress. Despite facing inevitable comparisons to her father's iconic status, Bianca remained determined to carve her own identity in the acting world. She actively pursued roles that pushed her boundaries and allowed her to showcase her acting prowess beyond martial arts. Whether it was drama or comedy, Bianca embraced diverse roles to explore different aspects of her talent. Entering the entertainment industry as the daughter of Jean-Claude Van Damme, Bianca carried the weight of high expectations. Growing up in a family where martial arts and physical fitness were not just pastimes but a way of life, Bianca's journey was filled with both privilege and pressure. Since she was little, Bianca was deeply involved in martial arts, which built up her physical and mental strength. However, when she stepped into the acting world, she faced a unique set of challenges and criticisms that tested her resilience. One big challenge was living up to her father's huge reputation. Her dad, Jean-Claude Van Damme, was a worldwide star in martial arts and action movies, so people naturally compared her to him and judged her more closely. Many thought Bianca would follow in her father's footsteps, putting a lot of pressure on her to match his success. This pressure wasn't just motivating, it was also really tough to handle as she tried to find her path while still respecting her family's legacy. On top of that, as a woman entering fields mainly dominated by men, like martial arts and action movies, Bianca faced criticism based on her gender. Some people doubted her abilities, suggesting that she only succeeded because of her dad's fame, not because of her skills and hard work. These criticisms didn't just lessen Bianca's accomplishments. 
They also kept old-fashioned ideas about what women can do in these fields alive. Bianca always had to work hard to prove herself and show that she belonged in an industry where people had strong opinions about gender. But even with all these challenges, Bianca didn't give up. She stayed strong and determined. She didn't want to be known only because of her family or be limited by what society thought she should do. Instead, Bianca focused on getting better at what she loved. She took on different kinds of roles, both acting and martial arts, to show off all her talents. By working hard and making smart decisions about her career, Bianca aimed to show everyone what she could do on her own. Bridging Strength and Femininity Bianca Brie Van Damme's connection to martial arts is like a rich tale woven with both physical endurance and deep philosophical insights. This bond has not only sculpted her body, but has also shaped her perspective on life, blending femininity with formidable strength. Martial arts played a significant role in shaping Bianca, not just in her physical appearance, but also in her personality. She carries these lessons with her in everything she does, both in her daily life and her professional endeavors. The physical impact of martial arts on Bianca is evident. Since her early years, she has been immersed in various martial arts disciplines, each contributing to her athletic build. Karate and kickboxing provided the foundation for her strength and agility, emphasizing speed, precision, and power. These disciplines require intense training, and Bianca's dedication has honed her body for both performance and resilience. Moreover, martial arts have influenced Bianca's approach to physical fitness. She combines traditional strength training and cardiovascular exercises with her martial arts practices, creating a comprehensive fitness routine that keeps her in top shape. This diverse training approach reflects her belief in adaptability and versatility, core principles of martial arts philosophy. On a deeper level, the philosophical teachings of martial arts have profoundly shaped Bianca's worldview and actions. Central to martial arts is the concept of balance, a harmony between strength and flexibility, action and restraint, ego and humility. Bianca embodies this balance, leveraging her physical prowess while staying rooted in the values of discipline and respect. In interviews, Bianca often talks about how important it is to keep going, even when things get tough, a key idea in martial arts. She talks about facing challenges directly and seeing them as opportunities to grow. Martial arts taught me that true strength isn't about never falling, but about getting back up every time we do, she once said capturing the resilience she gained from her training. One of the most interesting things about Bianca is how she combines femininity with strength effortlessly. In a world where people often think these qualities don't go together, Bianca shows that they can. Martial arts helped her do this by giving her a way to show her strength without losing her femininity. You can be strong and still be feminine, Bianca says believing that real empowerment comes from accepting all parts of yourself. This idea doesn't just stay with Bianca personally, it affects how she presents herself to the world and the roles she chooses. Bianca wants to see strong women represented in the media, women who can be tough but also diplomatic, showing that femininity is complex and powerful. Empowering femininity. In the world of martial arts, where men have typically held the spotlight, Bianca Brie Van Damme shines as a symbol of empowerment and transformation. Her journey isn't just about personal achievement, it's about reshaping how we see femininity in martial arts. Bianca's influence on the representation of women in martial arts has been profound. She's actively working to empower women globally and shift societal perceptions of women in these areas. When Bianca entered the world of martial arts and action movies, she challenged the old-fashioned ideas that often sidelined women. Coming from a family deeply rooted in martial arts, Bianca used her platform to show that strength and femininity can go hand in hand. Through her roles on screen and her public appearances, Bianca consistently portrays women as strong, skilled, and multidimensional, breaking norms portrayed in the media. But Bianca's influence goes beyond just her physical abilities. By sharing her experiences, Dedicating herself to her craft and achieving success in a competitive industry, she challenges gender stereotypes. She proves that women in martial arts deserve respect and recognition, not as exceptions, but as equals. 
Bianca's journey serves as a beacon of inspiration for women and girls everywhere. Through her presence on social media, interviews, and roles in films, she actively spreads the message that martial arts are open to everyone, regardless of gender. Bianca's message is crystal clear. Martial arts can empower individuals, boost self-confidence, and foster personal development. But Bianca's advocacy goes beyond mere words. She actively engages in workshops, seminars, and events aimed at encouraging women to embrace martial arts. By sharing her expertise and skills, she helps cultivate a supportive community where women can thrive and excel in the martial arts arena. These efforts not only motivate individual women, but also contribute to a gradual change in societal attitudes towards women in martial arts and physical activities. Bianca's influence acts as a catalyst for reshaping perceptions of femininity and strength. She challenges outdated beliefs that associate martial arts with masculinity or suggests that physical prowess contradicts femininity. Instead, Bianca promotes a broader view of femininity, one that encompasses strength, resilience, and independence. Her public image reflects this evolution, as she confidently showcases both her physical abilities and her feminine identity. She openly discusses how vital it is for women to feel empowered to protect themselves and also highlights the mental advantages of martial arts practice, like gaining more confidence and inner strength. By leading by example, Bianca helps reshape societal expectations about what women can achieve and the roles they can take on, from dislike to determination. Reflecting on her journey, Bianca disclosed that she actually disliked the idea of martial arts while growing up. In an interview with Page Six, she shared, When I was young, my mom encouraged me to try martial arts for discipline. I was seven and thought, I can't stand it. I just wanted to focus on ballet and ice skating. Recalling this period, she said, Skating was my whole life. However, when circumstances prevented her from pursuing her passion further, she made the bold decision to explore new opportunities. That something new turned out to be martial arts. But Bianca approached it in her own unique way. She expressed, I want to show both little girls and boys that you can be physically strong and feminine. You can be poised at the dinner table and still be a powerful force in a graceful manner. Although she's following in her family's footsteps as both a martial artist and an actor, Bianca Brie Van Dam is determined to forge her own path. Her debut on the big screen alongside her father in the 2008 The Shepherd Border Patrol wasn't enough for her to rest on her laurels. She recounted, I wasn't pleased with my performance when I watched my first film. I realized that if I wanted to pursue this career, I needed to improve. So she worked diligently to enhance her skills and made the bold decision to drop her father's famous last name. Originally known as Bianca Van Varenberg, she opted for the stage name Bianca Brie. Explaining her choice, she remarked, It's complicated. People often approach me to express their admiration for my dad, which is nice, but what does that have to do with me? She added, My father's influence looms large over me, but my ambition to excel as an action star surpasses that. Since 2008, she has appeared in 15 films, five of which starred her father. Despite striving to establish herself independently, Bianca's bond with her father remains strong. She stated, Our relationship had its ups and downs, but now we're on good terms. We chat and spend time together, but it's not like I'm constantly seeking his guidance. We might hit the gym together and spar, but it's not a typical father-daughter relationship. In terms of Bianca's romantic life, she is currently single and not involved in any romantic relationships, as she is fully dedicated to her career. As of 2024, her net worth is estimated at $15 million, primarily from her acting career. Bianca currently resides in a detached house located in West Village, Manhattan, New York. The house, valued at around $970,000, features three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Its white and beige color scheme enhances its brightness and spaciousness. Additionally, there is a sizable balcony offering a picturesque view of the street. The house is enclosed by a high white gate ensuring the actress's privacy. Bianca owns two cars. The first is an Audi Q7, purchased for $45,000. The second car is a BMW X5, valued at approximately $90,000. Bianca's fashion style and the cars she drives show that she leads an exciting life, not a boring one. 
On her Instagram page, she shares fun pictures and videos of herself hanging out with close friends in cool places. She loves exploring and having adventures, and her posts reflect her love for having a good time. A Journey Beyond Martial Arts Outside of her martial arts training, Bianca's exploration of fashion and modeling reveals the many layers of her personality. While her transition into the fashion world may seem effortless due to her natural grace and athleticism, it's much more than just showcasing her physical abilities. For Bianca, delving into fashion is a deliberate journey into creativity and aesthetics. Working alongside designers, photographers, and other creatives, she dives deep into the artistic side of the industry. These collaborations give her a platform to express her unique style and personality, separate from her roles as an actress and martial artist. Through her fashion endeavors, Bianca breaks free from the stereotype of being solely the daughter of an action star. Instead, she showcases her versatility and complexity. Fashion, to Bianca, is not just about clothes and looks. It's about empowerment and self-expression. She often talks about how fashion can transform perceptions and boost confidence. In many ways, Bianca's approach to fashion mirrors her mindset in martial arts. It's about being true to oneself, embracing vulnerability, and daring to be different. Whether on the red carpet or in fashion shoots, Bianca blends strength and femininity, challenging the notion that women must fit into narrow stereotypes. In using fashion as a platform, Bianca continues to promote female empowerment. Just as she advocates for women in martial arts, her venture into fashion and modeling has made a big impact on how people see her. While her talents in martial arts and acting are well known, her involvement in fashion has shown another side of her personality. It reveals her openness to exploring different aspects of herself, moving away from the narrow image often associated with her family background. This expansion of her public image has not only made her more likable to a broader audience, but has also inspired others. Bianca proves that people are not just one-dimensional and can have many interests and talents worth exploring. Bianca's dive into fashion and modeling mirrors her quest to learn more about herself and develop as a person. It shows how she keeps changing and challenging herself to break free from expectations. This journey reflects Bianca's overall story of being tough, curious, and unwilling to fit into one mold. Her triumphs in fashion and modeling, alongside her accomplishments in martial arts and acting, highlight the idea that growing personally means accepting all parts of who you are. It proves how Bianca is adaptable and bold, moving through different fields with poise and self-assurance. Bianca's influence goes beyond her career accomplishments. She has become a symbol of strength and inspiration for women all over the world. Through her public image and efforts to advocate for change, Bianca challenges common ideas about what it means to be feminine and strong. She believes that everyone, regardless of gender, can benefit from martial arts, and she encourages women to embrace their physical abilities and assert themselves. Bianca's journey of self-discovery, resilience, and empowerment shines as a guiding light for those seeking to find their paths in life. Her diverse identity and unwavering commitment to her passions demonstrate the power of perseverance and staying true to oneself. Bianca's impact reaches far beyond the entertainment industry, leaving a lasting impression on those who dare to break barriers and pursue their dreams with courage and determination. When it comes to martial arts skills, do you think Bianca Van Damme is better than her father? Let us know your opinion in the comments below.